Hey, Dad, Mom. Hey, Greg. Hi there. Great to see you. Hey, Grace Honolulu. Glad to see you. Nice to see you. Can you see us? We can. We miss you. Miss you too, Pop. Thanks for taking some time. I want I want everybody to just be able to see. People don't believe I'm Japanese, so Mom, thank you for validating that. And <laughs> you are our son. I yes. Okay. Love you. Love you too, Mom. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, Dad. Yes, sir. You know what? I think would be really interesting is if people knew how you came to know Jesus, how you came to a relationship with Christ. Okay. Well, yeah, I was raised a Catholic, went to Catholic school for 12 years, so had no relationship. You know, had to just be good. That was it. And uh, I don't know, along the line, our daughter uh, told us uh, of a nice church that we should go to, and we did. We started going to Wednesday night Bible studies, and then we liked it so well, the teaching, that we went to Sundays and just kept going. And and that was it. And somewhere along the line, we got filled with the Holy Spirit and the love of God. And woo, uh, woo is right. So awesome. <laughs> was there a point in just your relationship with Christ where you just began to understand how much God loved you? Yeah, I think the more we, we went into the Bible and, and the more, you know, we studied it and the more we learned that Jesus died for us. And he would have died just for me if if I were the only person in the world. Wow. That's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. Yeah. Right now we're going through a scripture in Mark, Mark chapter 1 and verse 11, where God speaks over his son, these affirming words, you know, this is my son whom I love and with him I'm well pleased. And, you know, on this Father's Day, I just, I want to thank you because you and mom have always been our biggest cheerleaders, me and Cherie, my sister. Uh, you guys have always been our biggest encouragers and cheerleaders. There was a moment, though, that was kind of scary for you when, um, when I came to know Christ. And then I graduated with my biology degree only to go into ministry. Did that yes. bother you, honestly? Oh, it, it, it bothered for a minute. I, I can't say that, you know, I was heartbroken. I mean, I was for that tiny moment in time when we thought you were going to be a doctor. That's when I said, hey, you could be a missionary doctor. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, it's true. And that's because I, I didn't understand. And, you know, with the love of, of God in us, we we... I'll say we, but I, I realized our priorities in life. You know, it was always we or us, and then found out it was joy, Jesus, others, and yourself. Mm, you know, good. that sort of solidified what uh, the love of God means, that you, you don't love yourself or you don't think about yourself. You do things for other people. It's great. And that's that's how you guys have always been. I know there was a moment of uh, to me, it seemed like a longer moment, but probably because I was in it where it was difficult and uh, maybe you were disappointed and I could totally understand that. But you guys rebounded and became um, our biggest fans in the ministry and the work that we're doing. And I love that. Well, you know, when you realize uh, what you're supposed to be in life, you know, it makes it easy. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was, yeah, it's not hard after that. But whatever, whatever you do is not what you're doing. It's what the Lord wants. It's his will. You know, if we remember that, oh, well, we, we knew if we know that, then everything else is just a piece of cake. Yeah. I, I wish that everybody had a, had an earthly daddy like I've, I've had. Um, but for the dads that are out there, and we got a bunch of them in our church that have just had newborns and some that are hoping to have newborns and some that have kids that are older. Is there something you would tell them just to encourage them as dads? I, I would. I, I tell them to look at Ephesians 6, 4. It says, fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and the instruction of the Lord. I mean, there's nothing that we as humans can say, yeah, be nice to them, give them what they want, or don't give them what they want. 
it's it's the lord the lord's the lord's book tells you how you should be and and the other thing i would say is in first thessalonians 5 16 17 and 18 he says rejoice always pray without ceasing in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus for you and if you do those two things you have it made there's nothing that can go wrong as long as you're in god's will you're you're set your kids will just just follow it's great dad so good hey would you mind just saying a little prayer for us as we uh just have this time and just bless bless our church bless our people sure first of all i'm going to give you the blessing i just love that song the blessing so much i it I listen to it every day or every chance I get. So first, I'll give you the blessing. All right. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you Mm -hmm. and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lord, we we do. We just pray for for that church in Honolulu, Lord. Uh, I'm just so, so... uh, so happy that you anoint Greg and that he teaches your word, Lord. And I, I know he's loved because, because you love him. And I just ask that you continue to, uh, to, uh, to anoint him as he uh, teaches, teaches your word in that church in Honolulu, Lord. And we're just uh, so pleased and happy that uh, of all the people, every time we go there, just love the Hawaiian culture lord the people are just so so fantastically nice lord and we just thank you for that and ask you to continue blessing them and your will be done in their lives thank you jesus amen 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 thanks dad thank you greg i love you i love you and keep up the good work i will you're my hero bye pop bye bye aloha